Uh, lots of course, uh, my lords have directed the uh, officer who headed that SIT uh, to be present here with all the police people. Thank you, lords. I have advised the senior superintendent of police also, who had also deeply uh, supervised the case. So, that's right. That's right. Can we have the police papers? Yes, please. Yes. Have you flagged from where you have, uh, from where you have proceeded on the premise that nobody is to be found? Come in front. Come. Not exactly, sir, but whatever attempts we have done to find out the culprits, sir, we have, have marked each one of them, sir. Could you get the names of those persons? Sir, no, sir. We examined almost uh, uh, 90 females, sir, whose stay had overlapped with that of the victim, sir. And we took all of their statements and got them recorded under 164. And in that, sir... Yes, sir that you have said. Sir. And therefore, you have charge sheeted only one person, the superintendent who was overall in charge. Yes, sir. The one who had kept on emerging was that of Vandana Gupta, and hence that is why, sir. You don't have to take the name. Ah, sir, the uh, accused, sir. The superintendent. Even then. Sir, sorry, sir. So, um, so, on the basis of that only, sir, we uh, charge sheeted her because the victim statement, sir, that only found corroboration in statement of three other uh, residents of the Gaiga shelter. Why, why, why we are. Uh, you know, skeptical about the investigation having been conducted properly. We are not passing any comment. This is just the tentative opinion of the court. Don't get disheartened, uh, both of you. Now, we find that it was a very, very big offence, gender-related offence, especially, especially against hapless women who were lost in that uh, aftercare home or whatever. Mr. Advocate General, please take this. Now, the person who gave the interview, which actually kick-start all this uh, debate, uh, she is not the only person who is the victim, right? So there would be many others. Uh, how many of them have been interviewed by you, interrogated by you? What information did you call out? And uh, did you ask for any special, uh, did you put the superintendent to a special interrogatories? But we don't get satisfied. The occurrence has taken place in the capital under the nose of the High Court, and up till up till now, you have been able to uh, point towards any finger towards only one. Uh, sir, if and to tell you a fact, she being a lady, we find that she could only have been a facilitator. That's right. So she has facilitated whom? So. Therefore, we find that uh, this investigation is absolutely lopsided. We don't know. We have not seen the papers. Sir. You do one thing. Sir. You have submitted the charge sheet? Yes, sir. So there are two FIRs and one charge sheet has been submitted. Yes, sir. We will give two copies. One, I mean, we can always have a copy. We can, we can give a copy. We will go to the... This, uh, we find that there is something lacking in your effort. Um, not yours. Investigating agents. Sir, sir, if I may just uh, elucidate everything that we have done so far, sir. So we took the. Are you satisfied? Sir, with this kind of allegation, with this, with this large spectrum of the, of the, of the, uh, you know, victims, are you satisfied that only one person you could uh, lay your hands upon? We are not. We are not asking you to frame others who are not there. Sir, we are not asking you to do that. We are even not asking you to expand the scope of investigation, not at all. But if you as an investigator, as the head of the investigating team, eight member team, if you are satisfied that all this happened only because of the facilitator and nobody, and nobody could get uh, any access to the to the uh, home and could meet the girls, then we are, we, uh, then uh, I don't think we, we are on the same page. Sir, so far what we have done to uh, get to those culprits, sir, if at all something like this had happened. Mm -hmm. So we took the FSL team to examine the entire premises. Why am why okay. I cutting you short? Sir. Now these processes are known. Sir. You will take, uh, you will have FSL report. 
you will you will ask for you will uh, take cust I mean, uh, you will take a person you will request for custodial remand and whatever sir we know that process sir they are only asking you about your satisfaction that this kind of an occurrence has taken place and this is not a new one sir and you could not uh, i mean you don't have a clue who were part of it i mean just that sir whatever sir whatever processes we had followed we did everything sir in fact sir our sole basis of everything that has happened so far are the statements of those two victims sir now one of these victims sir gets released from after care home sir the uh, the, the the victim of fir uh, 1322 sir she gets uh, released from the after care home on 5 may 2021 and after one and a half year sir she alleges these complaints and uh, the fir acu uh, the, the fir of 1321 does not hint at any sexual exploitation okay, sir. and you, secondly you, please don't proceed on those lines sir i'll advise you don't proceed on those lines sir the very tenor of your explanation says yes, that you are not believing the accusation if that is so then then no, charge no, is bad no no sir no no sir absolutely not sir so okay. therefore don't don't say that sir if you find the accusation to be correct what have you done to extend your arms to reach those culprits now if you say that the statement is made after one year that means you can you can sir there could be tutored statements i don't say that it cannot be sir. but these are two different strands in the investigation sir. should you find the accusation made by the women to be bad to be to be not acceptable that's one stand if you say this that there was considerable time lag when the matter was reported and when they, they were subjected to such mis demana sir sir actually sir because of that the statements are vague sir and even when sir not just that we tried reaching out to girls of shelter who who were released from the shelter room at that point in time sir and sir from time to time inspections had been carried out at the shelter room and uh, uh, we have got a report of all those inspection notes also sir satisfy us you will have to go through with the permission of the court sir yes very good option sir Uh, sir, I personally supervised this case from the very beginning, sir. All the supervision notes were issued by me, sir. Uh, the accusations that came, sir, upon the basis of that the affairs were registered, sir. Then, uh, in order to in enhance the scope of the investigation, and in order to check out whether this thing was taking place on large scale or not, sir, we had identified all the inmates of the aftercare home, sir. A total of 97 of them were identified. Some of them. Who used to live at the time when Gudiya, when both the uh, victims, yes, yes. So yes. Uh, we specifically requested the Honorable District Judge Patna uh, to provide us with judicial magistrates, sir. He was kind enough. All the needy judicial magistrates were deputed, sir. They went to the after care home, and in uh, environment of complete neutrality, in the absence of all the police officers or in the absence of the superintendent, and then, all the 164 statements were uh, recorded, sir. Then all the corroborative evidence in the form of FSN, sir. Uh, everything was done so throughout the investigation sir we got only seven adversarial uh, 164 statements against the culprit sir incriminating incriminating sir out of that only uh, five <coughs> alleged uh, physical assault or the bad quality of the food and only two of the inmates one of them uh, alleged uh, sexual exploitation by of her along with three other girls by four unknown elderly people sir and one of them just gave a general statement she was deaf and mute sir we arranged a translator we uh, requested the subdivisional magistrate translator was arranged and that statement was recorded in english sir so uh, when the one of the so we have only two adversarial statements and that would be 164 statements citing sexual exploitation sir so one of the uh, girl the victim sir i am just checking you here adversary means the other side the, the yes uh, in, so in that was yet committing sir so uh, upon the basis of that statement sir uh, she alleged that she along with three other inmates she uh, used to be smuggled out of the after care home and yes. three to four uh, elderly was, people used to be this statement of us that yes. uh, caught our attention as members of the yes, yes. committee sir uh, but at the same time sir because we had taken the statement of all the possible inmates who were present at that point of time sir none of the other uh, inmate alleged and corroborated this statement sir then again sir uh, we have recorded that in diary also in order to corroborate her allegations the victim who had given the intimating uh, statement we asked her about the identity of the people and if she had any clue about it she was not able to come with any clue at fact one point of time she even didn't want to corroborate her statement after recording the 164 statements sir 
So even CCTV footage, sir, mm -hmm. uh, the forensic examination of the place, it was very complicated. And when was the CCTV uh, seen? When was it uh, taken in uh, possession? When the case was taken over by SIT, sir, but that is the fact that only seven days CCTV footage is available as mm -hmm. uh, uh, any uh, Any report about uh, the, the footage having been tampered with? Uh, no, sir. No such uh, report, sir. Did you put it to such test? Did you have it? Uh, did you have a certificate of the expert? A 65 Indian uh, Indian Evidence Act certificate was taken from. No, no. Did you have a certificate of an expert that it has not been tampered with? It's all intact. Uh, we just took. See, you could days. take possession of the. I mean, the SIT could take possession of it only after seven, eight days. Yes, sir. When the matter had flashed in the newspapers. Yes, sir. Right. The superintendent had not been removed. Yes, sir. She all was other removed. functionaries were there. Sir. So seven days. Did you, uh, is there any statement in your investigation paper that the CCTV footage was intact, inviolate? It has not been tampered with. It, that is only the, uh, the standard language that we have in 65 Indian Evidence Act. That That's was with respect custody. to the evidence which you collect. Yes, sir. And to be to be to be admissible, you need to follow sir. 65B. Yes, they sir. are on a different issue altogether. Yes, sir. Right? So we have serious doubts. Sir. That if you base your information and investigation only on the CCTV footage, sir. perhaps you are you are you are being misled. Uh, sir, the matter of the fact is that because it was only seven days of CCTV footage, so the incidents which was alleged, we do not have CCTV footage of that. That's right. That's what I am saying. I mean, you, you can't you can't. Because only seven days back, it is available. Sir. Okay, you can't uh, you can't uh, parry the question of the bench. Sir. You have understood it. You are you are you have been an investigator. Sir, you are sir. a police officer. Sir. You know about investigation better than the court. Yes. We can only find faults. But uh, don't parry this question. Mm -hmm. Now the first thing an investigator does is he, he takes control of the CCTV. Sir. And the, the second thing he does is to see whether whether it has been kept intact or it has been uh, tempered. Sir. This is how the investigation proceeds in these kinds of cases. Sir. Otherwise, what is the purpose of keeping uh, CCTV? I mean, there is no surveillance then. So you take it, uh, you take control of it after seven days. Sir. Not that you had swung into action without uh, the without the victims and without the perpetrators of the crime being in know of it. It was all in newspapers. So I think the first step of the SIT would have been the correct step to see whether whether the CCTV footage is intact. It has not been deleted. It has not been tampered with. Is there a certificate? This is not 65B certificate. Yes, no, you have not done. You have not applied your mind to it. You have not applied to your mind. I mean, what we are. I mean, yes, I think sir. both of you are understanding what the question yes, is yes. trying to end. Uh, now, if you say that uh, now this statement is not coming from the victim and this is a delayed statement, so far so good. This, these offences will keep on happening. I mean, uh, you're not. You are not only an investigator, all of us are citizen, part of the citizenry of this country. I, mean, I get pained, I don't know why Why you are so stoic about it. Uh, uh, besides sir, we have completed the mobile forensics sir, of all the available uh, data that was there sir. The whole forensic team examined you the whole of the... You medical test for all that? Sir. Now if something happened say 15 days ago, sir. the girl musters up the courage to speak after say 30 days. Sir. And the matter has been taken cognizance of in the sense, in the loose sense of the term, that you have investigated the matter. Yes. Would you be only looking for medical evidence? Unless, uh, done unless there is immediate, I mean, unless there is some uh, physical onslaught immediately preceding the report. Yes, sir. You would not be looking for the medical evidence only. Uh, sir, we have uh, uh, taken other scientific evidence on record also, sir. Like the, we had a 400 page forensic examination report of the. With 1000 pages, if it doesn't satisfy sir. the conscience, uh, if it doesn't satisfy the, the reader, what worth it is of? And whole of the, sir, uh, the forensics, mobile forensics. How many people did you invest, did you interrogate? Sir, we interrogated all the uh, staff, the How paramedical many people? staff. Give us the number of heads. Numbers plus the sir, all the uh, security guards also. Sir. Security guards also, sir. 90 people were once it was taken was taken apart from that. 40 plus uh, 20 plus the guards. And all of them 
failed ignorance. They they said it's all right. We, we didn't see anything. Sir. That's exactly the, it. Sir, throughout the investigation, we had only two uh, 164 interrogating statements. Sir, 164 statements. Sir. And, and we all other. We can't even tell you to. I mean, I mean uh, manufacture. We, we, nobody can tell you to manufacture evidence. Sir. But uh, they are not satisfied. We'll see the entire investigation. Sir. They are not satisfied. And you have been able to charge it only one a female, a superintendent. So the one who could have been the and who, who, how did he, how did she facilitate sir according to the statements of the victim sir it was said that she is the one who took share of the money of the wrong from who happened. from the uh, uh, from the exploiters who are the you could get names. Names. no sir we did not get names out of it sir. who will accept this report as correct sir. i don't think the chief judicial magistrate of whatever ilk he is he will accept this report you may be satisfied. Who can be satisfied that you you have found that this superintendent was facilitating the entry of you know uh, predators who masqueraded as relatives, and then the women were sedated and they were raped. Uh, so we took the help of counselors also, sir. Uh, the professional counselors they were also uh, taken to the scene. So that not even case... one. This is this is surprising. Not even sir. one. Well, if you are satisfied, we we'll look at the papers and we we'll give you directions. But we are not satisfied at the moment. How could this be? How could this be? Then perhaps your accusation against the superintendent also is bad. So that we have mentioned in the and memo of not evidence. That these people the from overseas sir. Sir. Were, were, were facilitated in entering the home. Must have been people from around. We have exhausted the manual and technical input that we put at that point. We have uh, yeah. submitted no, the We are not recording anything. We will not say that this report is very, very perfunctory, though it may run in 500 or 600 pages, but we are not satisfied. For the, we will record that only one person who has been found uh, worth trying is the superintendent who is a lady. Uh, her role is only that of a facilitator. Think of it. Just think of it and. I mean, the response should come from you. Uh, so we had also examined the bank accounts, all the possible are transactions you, that could happen. Are you going to go for a further investigation? Uh, in case some relevant facts come up, definitely, sir, under 173 in CRPC. You relevant facts are from your reports only. Sir, sir. You're not seeing it with a discerning sir. eye. We might end this litigation by saying that this is the report, but we are not thoroughly dissatisfied. If that suits you, it's all right. But then we'll be we'll be falling short of our duty as judges. Sir, we are ready for any further investigation, sir. We have exhausted. On what lines, sir? Please, if you have if you have exhausted your reserves, sir. Uh, it doesn't speak uh, very good of the policing, sir. You tell us where have you faltered and uh, which in which direction should you proceed now? You tell us. Sir, just Instead of us ensure... telling you, then we then we completely reject the uh, the veracity of your uh, proper policing and investigation, and we give you our own direction without monitoring the investigation. Uh, Unless you come up yourself, this I mean I'm just repeating it all over again. Sir. Not the first time where where uh, shelter home inmates have been violated yes, physically. Yes, sir. It's not the first time. And then the shelter home in question located at Patna. There were many interviews when the matter was reported. There was some time lag between uh, action and the report, sir. and then you have been able to find one lady superintendent. Now, if you put all your facts within these four parameters, I think nobody, not even your own department, would say that you have done a good job. Sir, we have not got uh, the access to the 164 statements, CRP statements of both the uh, victims. Please, in that I case. Sir, perhaps, uh, not as investigators, we're not, not, as, allowed to not only as investigators, and precisely for this reason you have been you have been nominated as the head. Sir. You have that sensitivity with you yes, sir. for your gender. Yes, sir. 
It's not done. Sir, in fact, sir, to, just to ensure that the victims are not harassed or anything, sir, we were even ready to take the statement of the 161 statement of the victim wherever she felt comfortable. Sir, and in Taiwan, so, throughout that's sir, something which is given. Yes. Sir, can, you, exactly, can you do sir, anything beyond that? Absolutely not, sir. And exactly that is why, sir, sir the whole basis, sir, the reason why this case is coming to place. I have because, given you four corners. Put your work within that corner and assess yourself. Sir, sir. We are not going to say anything. For the reason that we don't know whether you have uh, uh, made uh, good efforts, we don't know. If we make that statement, that would be bad. Now you find out yourself where actually you have faltered, and this is no way of policing. This is no, I'm sorry, this is no way of investigation and policing in the first instance. How did it happen? You. You have to be the showstopper. I'm sorry, you are not taking it to a logical conclusion. We know our limitations. We are not here to monitor your investigation. The power to investigate is plenary with you, with police. All these uh, you know, nuances of law, we all know. Therefore, Mr. Advocate General is not even objecting to it. Uh, one, two, I'm only asking the question repeatedly. What gives you this satisfaction that you have done your work? So one more submission. Now, I'll tell you what. Sir. You go through the reports. Sir. Find out in what way you could make a headway. Sir. And in case you require any further investigation, come out with necessary reasons. We will permit you. We will direct because this is under Article 226 and we are, we are, we are taken so much to notice of it. But it should come from you. If we tell you anything, you would, uh, you would uh, perhaps clamor that the investigation is being monitored. No, we are not monitoring the investigation. With the permission we of can do that. Courts. We can do that, but but we are not doing it for the moment. Sir. So one last question, sir. Yes. Sir, in order to get more proof, sir, once we came across the 164 CRPC statements, what, what we did, sir, we, we did 